Sometimes the American justice system could be strange in a way uh, that's going to severely affect a high school football player who is uh, now cited for 69 counts of indecent exposure. And you're going to think like, well, did he just run into a public park and pull out his dong? No, no, he got actually a little more creative with it. Take a look at this Fox News broadcast that goes into a little more detail for you uh, in context from Red Mountain High School. Take a look. Well, a football player over at Red Mountain High School in Mesa is now facing criminal charges tonight for exposing himself in the team photo. That photo actually ended up in the school's yearbook. This is 19-year-old Hunter Osborne seen there. Police say as a prank, he exposed himself in the varsity team's group photo. No one caught it before it was printed in the yearbook. He has since told police that he's disgusted by what he's done. He's charged with furnishing obscene materials to minors. And he now faces 69 counts of indecent exposure. And as you see in the photo, it's one charge for each teammate in the picture. Francis, it's okay to laugh at 69. I'll give that a quick, I'll give that a quick chuckle. <laughs> it's it's annoying. Um, but so these are serious like charges he's getting. Uh, so A, the statement from uh, the Red Mountain High School, while the small size of the photographs is published makes the detail difficult to discern, the yearbook has been recalled so the school can make a minor but critical edit for the inappropriate oh, they're just content. just insults to the kid as well. He's yeah. getting felony charges minor, calling him a minor. Minor, small size of the photograph. It's a little rude. All right, if you, if you need any more reassurance that the American justice system is fucking mental, then here it is. Absorb it. There is charges. It's, it's quite literally like getting the same, like the, the way that the American justice system deals with marijuana. Like it just, it's just obscene to me. Like I understand that that is not right. There is probably some kids somewhere that are scarred for seeing the guy's ding ding. But he's stupid. He is a stupid high school kid. You uh, make so many stupid mistakes when you're in high school. I have probably done something like that in a photo and just hoping, I think it's been, Never recorded, but people just do stupid shit like that. Hold on. To have 69. We're going back. Let's you pulled out your dong in no, a photo. I mean, I, I probably, I don't know if I have. I might have. I, anyway, but that's the funny, that's the thing is like you do so many stupid things. In, and obviously in this PC culture that we are in right now, yeah. and it is uh, important to reiterate these messages from an early age that everything you do will have some sort of repercussions. But the kid... Now going to have this on his record. Dan stating there that he's in jail, I believe. Yeah, mm -hmm. They put him in jail. Yeah, yeah. Felony Class charges. Four felony. Six, Sixty-nine charges because of the his teammates that were all involved. Like, I, I just think that I think it's harsh. I think it's really harsh, and I think it's going to be detrimental to the kids' future. Like, it's it, again, it's stupidity. There are stupid mistakes that are made, but it's just how the system in the, in the United States will will. Um, make such severe cases for one, but then there is other cases in this country. Like, if the guy brought a gun to school, like, he would never face, probably wouldn't even face that amount of charges. He probably if he brought a gun to school, they'd be like, ah, you, know, you should probably should have kept it in your lock, in your, uh, in your glove compartment. Now, you, you, I'll give you a cutlet. I'll give you a slap in the wrist. You, see you later. Right. No problem, well, because guns are fine, but I would hope it would be, be a little more serious than that, but I get your point. Uh, I think that's been uh, summed it up at the end pretty well. A hanging dong in a yearbook photo is absurd. The idea that it could even be potentially be punished by long-term problems with, say, renting a house or getting a job is obscene. Because these do. This has to now go down on your permanent record, uh, which they always threaten you with in high school. But, like, I'm talking about permanent record, like, uh, like legally, your police record. Uh, and that, you have to circle yes when you fill out any job application. And it says, have you ever committed a felony or have you ever been committed of, uh, sometimes they say misdemeanor crimes. You have to circle yes and you have to explain it. And they only give you, what, 100 characters to say, I hung dong in a yearbook photo. Which, I mean, I hope... You know, if his track record, if he goes on, you know, look, we don't know what's going to happen with the kid, but if he goes on to be a good college student or whatever happens, I'd hope a boss would see that and be like, hold on, uh, so we're going to go to your conviction real quick. You did what in a yearbook? Model? Yeah. That's... Hire this man right now. That's the kind of thing we're looking for in this company. <laughs> it's not going to be the Ted Teller. Right. Ted's just like, <laughs> what? I, what did he say? I did that with the parsnip. <laughs> You're getting promoted. You're getting promoted. Uh, real quick, that has been comment section is still one of the best comment section in the history of the universe. Almost as great as our comment section, I should say. But uh, take a look at this, my favorite comment from that thread. 69 counts of indecent exposure? Nice. <laughs> Sometimes the lowest hanging fruit tastes the sweetest. <laughs> Had to, man. They're so great. It's a, it's, nice. It makes light out of a very dark situation. Nice. Give credit to the comments.
All right, no hanging dong from Jason and Francis in this video, nope. but, but nope, make sure nope, to comment nope. below, down below, 69th comment will get a follow from me and Francis. We'll figure Absolutely. out which one that 69th comment is. Maybe we'll even give you a shout-out. Oh, real quick, I have to shout it out because I forgot it completely before we wrap up. Uh, a commenter last week did something in the comment section I've never seen before, and I promised to give him a shout-out. Here's the comment. We'll put up the screenshot. You could read through it. He felt his comment was so great that he replied to it and gave it a W. I don't know if you're allowed to give your own comment a W, but to me, the amazing part of this is he looked at it, he read it afterwards, and he said, damn, that's good, giving this guy a W. Just validated his own comment. That's awesome, man. Nice. Good for you. You get a W from us. So uh, there's your shout out. Sorry I came so late, but I did promise you in the comment section that I'd do it, and I'm a man of my word just five days later. Follow for a follow.